Hello everyone and welcome back. It's been two months since we did a last update video and why not? Why not? Let's do it. So heading into Jazzland, uh, it's under construction again. The reason why is we are fixing a lot of stuff that was wrong with this park. Uh, people were able to get out of the barriers that we set up. So we are going back and adding more stuff. And also just to update the general park experience. So I guess now let's head into Jazzland Park. Um, so yeah, so you can tell mostly everything's kind of the same. Um, this back area over here facing to the south right there, that's going to be home to a Gerslauer spinning coaster known as Spin Sanity, but in actuality it's based on Tony Hawk or pandemonium at Six Flags. Um, the kids area is being rebuilt soon. So uh, next week's update video should be about that. Jester is looking fine as ever. We are gonna add some little bit more theming to it. Uh, jo Jocko's is receiving some work. Um, also Megazef is staying how it is. We're probably gonna add a tunnel to it because the ride does need a tunnel. Um, yeah, so this is the location of the new Johnny Rockets restaurant, and mostly this area is going to get like a refresh, that canopy right there is going to be removed, the drop towers will be open, so now heading into Pontchartrain Beach, we are going to be seeing new construction soon with the brand new roller coaster called the Pontchartrain Racer. And if you are familiar with the Top Dole Dragster soundtrack, that same song will be playing in the queue line for Ponda Train Racer. This area, and you can see a little bit of layout right there for the coaster. SpongeBob building is going to be redone, rebuilt, not SpongeBob though. And now we're heading into the Burton and the 97 Batman Gotham City. So as you no, I posted a video a few days ago. Um, Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast soundtrack. That soundtrack will be making its way onto Jazzland. I've made a version of it where it's just the music and stuff, and you hear like me talking about the safety stuff. And uh, of course, we're gonna just fly around Batman the ride. Um, I still need to do more top-notch theming because, remind you, Jazzland is more. It's a concept of a theme park if it was taken more theming to Universal and Dollywood, basically. And Batman's looking really good. Um, it's part of my, I don't know if you, if you guys have been with the channel for a long time, you knew, you guys should know that I've actually built a Batman ride a couple of years ago and it did not turn out good. So that's like my savior, saving grace. So now we're heading into the Mr. Freeze area. Um, all these decorations will be taken down and redone because it's unacceptable. I don't know why I was thinking with it. The ice cream cone parts will be staying because it gives more of a aesthetic to it. And I've been watching the 1997 Batman and Robin film closely to see what the factory looks like. So here's a little bit of a sneak peek of inside the loading area. As you can tell, the floor is missing. That's the work I need to do because there's redstone missing, so I have to redo it all. Um, and the audio will actually play throughout the whole queue line, which I am not going to share the queue line because I want it to be a mystery to you guys. Just imagine if Ice Cream Factory with some creepy stuff into it. And also, I've been playing the Arkham games, or I, I did ask for one of the Arkham games for Christmas. Um, the Mr. Freeze turn has been redone. The top hat is going to be redone because I looked at it from a picture and I'm going to actually insert the picture now. Going to pause it. Okay. Insert picture. So you can tell that it is actually the top hat is slanted in the other direction where the track that goes through the snowman's mouth, it's more of diagonal than the opposite way. So I have to redo that. 
But overall, Mr. Freeze is coming together. And now let's head to the Disneyland California Resort. So now we are at Disneyland. And as you can tell, progress is going really good. Um, as we are right here, I did say this was going to have all like parks in it. But Disney World, I can't really show off yet because we want to keep that more of a secret. Well, more of what we've been posting pictures, so it's not really a secret. But there's some stuff that we are building and it's going to be later on for like trailer uses and stuff. So I'm just going to talk about, since we're over here at Main Street, Disney in the World's Main Street is almost done. One side has already been built, so now we are building the other side now and it's basically going great over there that's the update for disney world i can't really post pictures about it but continuing on with uh disneyland you can tell that we have been updating this park with horizon so horizon is on with this he's been busy with real life stuff which is fine and i just got a notification let me see um okay Oh, okay, cool. Someone from actual Six Flags St. Louis sent me a picture. Okay, that's helpful. Okay, so now let me get back to my uh, audio tab. Okay, th there we go, I'm back. Um, so yeah, so you can tell that Disneyland Park is almost here. It's just mainly Fantasyland area and hooking up the rides that need to happen. And Disneyland's almost ready to go. Um, I'm just, I'm sorry for saying I'm a lot. It's just, I've been wanting to get back in update videos. I've been so busy. I've been going to theme parks. I've been going to indoor water parks. Um, if you haven't watched A Day at Six Flags, please do watch it. I couldn't post the original audio of me talking in the videos because there were some people in the crowd that kept on saying vulgar language and cussing i didn't want to promote that on this channel um so yeah we're going past the haunted mansion looks refreshed because me horizon master uh went through and gave it a brand new look so now you see a lot of trees are here this is tom Sawyer island i can't i'm not going to show you in the island because it's going to be but I'm going to show you like the outskirts of it, which is looking really good. And I guess now we're going to head towards Galaxy's Edge. So by walking past, flying past, I mean not walking, what am I saying? Um, by flying past Galaxy's Edge, we still need to do work with it. Um, it won't open with the rest of the park, but you'll get to see it. Also, with the update with Universal City Walk, we have been extensively redoing some of the buildings. We have been adding some cool stuff, and Minecraft actually announced that they are adding more blocks. So, expect new things from Universal, because those blocks will help us design it better. And I just want to say thank you. Um, also, another thing is that Toontown is being rebuilt um no offense to the original person who built it we 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 did some calculating and the size that was there is too small and we have to build to the correct scale of disneyland um new space mountain is going really good um, people movers track will be installed for disneyland um we might turn it on for some special events like you can actually ride people mover but it won't be like a everyday occurrence and also about the channel it, i know it might be weird posting real life stuff but i am creating i do have a second channel um universal orlando resort that one is being redone soon it's actually going to be called outlaws all outpost extras which is just extra videos i posted that i'm not gonna post on this channel so yeah so if you guys did enjoy this video i'm gonna put actually pictures of some of the stuff that we didn't include in this video 
into the uh, thing. But if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm happy you guys are finally get to see another update video. I'm sorry about not posting for two months on update videos, but that's going to conclude our video and have a nice day. And I'll see you in the parks when we reopen. Peace and see ya. Have a great time.